create a reusable zoom effect in DaVinci Resolve. For this, we will need an adjustment layer. Now, at the beginning of the adjustment layer, create a scale and position keyframe. Go one second forward and then zoom into whatever section of your clip you want. To zoom back, go to the end of the clip and create both keyframes again. Go back one second by pressing shift and then the left arrow key and then place another set of keyframes. Now go to the last set of keyframes again by pressing the closing bracket key. Now on the last keyframes, set the values back to default, one for scale and then zero and zero for the position. You can click on this button right here to see the curves and then you can adjust the ease in and out values of each point right here. If you want to adjust the speed, just open the keyframe viewer and then just move the keyframes that are in the middle section. Keep in mind that to change the position, you have to edit the values of both keyframes that are in the middle. To save these, simply drag it into your power bins and then rename it. That way, you can use it on other projects. Now, I personally don't use this method that I showed you because I rather use the Fusion Transform and then adjust the curve values with this spline tool right in it. So let me show you how to create it in Fusion and then save it. Now, to do this in Fusion, we're going to use an adjustment layer again. We're going to open the adjustment layer in Fusion and then we're going to add a transform node. Here, we're going to go to the size control. We're going to right click on it and then we're going to modify it with the anim curves. In the anim curves, we are going to set up the curve to custom and we're going to add two more points in the middle. Set the second point to 0 0.1 in in and then one in the out box. Now set the third point to 0 0.9 and in, and then one on out. And then set the last point to one in in, and then zero in the out box. So basically in is the horizontal axis, and then out would be the vertical axis. You can zoom out in this lookup table right here, and then select all the keyframes and press F to ease them in and out. And there you can also adjust all the different curve values. Now the scale will control the amount of zoom that we have and we have to set the offset to 1. Otherwise it will be sort of like a pop-up animation from 0 to 1. And we want it to go from 1 to whatever the zoom amount that we have. Now the pivot point is what will control where you zoom into because the size is relative to the pivot point. So the pivot point is going to be their target. Now let's take a look at it in the edit page. Since we use the anim curves, the animation will automatically adapt to the adjustment layer's length. That means that you can make it longer or shorter and the animation will still work and adapt. If you want to turn this into a reusable effect that you can control in the edit page, this is what you have to do. We're going to go back in Fusion and we're going to select the Transform node. Then we're going to press Ctrl A to select everything. Right click on the Transform node and then go to Macro and then Create Macro. Name the macro whatever you want. The first control that we need is the pivot control, so we're going to click on it and also we can change the name to target. Now open the anim curves one and then click on scale to add this. This will be our zoom amount. We're going to try to also import the lookup table so that you can modify it right from the edit page. Now to save this, we're going to create an effect and a DRFX file. That way you can easily install this. For this to work, we need to create a folder structure. First, create a folder called edit. Inside this folder, create a folder called effects. And then you can create another folder here with the name of the tool, or you can save the macro right here. To create the DRFX file that will allow us to install the effect, right click on the edit folder, and then we're gonna compress this. Make sure you click to add to archive. And here we're gonna change the format to zip. Now we're gonna rename these and add the .drfx at the end. You can now double click the DRFX file and then it will prompt you to install it in DaVinci Resolve. Now you can add these to an adjustment layer and use it directly on the edit page. If you don't want to change it every single time, you can also save this adjustment layer that has the effect in the power bins and then rename it. Now you can simply drag these into any other project and then you are set. Now a few extra tips. If you want to animate it a bit more, like moving while it's already zoomed in, all you have to do is create a few keyframes on the target control and it will always go back to normal at the end. If you want to adjust the timing and the curvature of the zoom, you can use a lookup table to move the point. If you want to adjust the ease in and out values, you can zoom out on the lookup table by holding control. Now select all the points, right click 
and then find the ease in and out option. This will open a pop-up window where you can adjust the slider values to adjust the curve. Now, I already had an effect that I used for this, which I had shared in the freebies section. While making this video, I basically made a better version of the tool. So I thought, well, I can probably just update the freebie with this new version. So that's what I'm doing. If you don't want to go through the whole process of building it from scratch, you can download this effect for free from the Solvi website. All that I ask from you is that you watch the video all the way through so that more people can see it and also like the video. And that is today's video. I hope that it helps and come back tomorrow for more.